Right, uh, welcome to this mini midweek vlog update. Um, as I'm sure you know, this vlog is taking the place of the Book Free Progress vlog, which should have come out on Sunday, and it didn't. And not just because I couldn't be bothered doing one, despite the fairly horrific accusations of some of you out there. Um, what happened on Sunday will be covered in the next Book Free Progress vlog. Um, but basically, it went boom. And all the drama and things that I've spoken about in the last couple of vlogs that I was certain would happen as we reached the end of the Paradox of a Lie, they happened with a vengeance on Sunday, and it was a very bad day. And so <laughs> Sunday and Monday were not were not cracking. Um, yeah, but it's back on track now, and there'll be more of that in a future vlog. Touch wood, we're still aiming for having a first draft finished version for this weekend. That is still the aim, but it is... <laughs> The confidence that I had before is no longer there, but that's still the aim. That being said, we're going to use this vlog as a chance to introduce Deadlock, which is my latest short story. Um, Deadlock is published on the 16th of July, 2020. It'll be coming out in the exact same way that all my other short stories have come out. It'll be on Amazon exclusive. It'll be an ebook and a paperback. Um, we're aiming to start the publicity for it from the 1st of June. Started to give us a six-week build towards its release which I think is about right you don't want to go too long you don't want to go too short we like like I've said before we're, we're learning as we go ahead and do these things and we think that six weeks should be just about perfect so we're like I said we'll um we'll start bombarding you all with posters and videos and that sort of jazz uh, from the first of June uh, yeah the actual story itself is it's the most complex thing I think I've ever written um Definitely the most complex short story I've ever written. Um, it's about a guy in America called Douglas Sanchez, who, he's a nice lad, Douglas. He's a, he's a good bloke. He's honest. He's a family man. He's moralistic. He's he's a nice guy. He's, he, he's the opposite of what I normally write about in my stories. And Douglas finds himself on a jury in a murder trial. And to sort of, give the book a little bit of context I'm going to go back to the inspiration of the book which was a podcast I was listening to in um, about a trial in America where a guy was wrongly convicted standard of a murder and because of legal issues he ended up getting his conviction overturned and he was retried seven times um, and on one of his trials he gets a hung jury where the result is 11 and 1 and while everything on the podcast and the uh, news clippings that I found on the internet focus on the crime itself and the behaviour of the people in the trial my uh, my mind was immediately drawn to the one in 11 and 1 and what it must have been like to stand your ground and to have 11 people saying we want to go home this guy is guilty and you still saying no I'm not I'm not doing it step, <laughs> step forward Douglas Sanchez um, yeah, it, it was originally supposed to be a legal thriller. It was supposed to be about the flaws in the justice system, and them bits are all still in there. But it's the the, the book as as usual with mine. It, it's come down to being about the character, and it's no longer about what Douglas does or what the other people in the book do. It's more, I guess, about why they do it and the things that have happened in their life that shape the way they see the world and how what how through seeing the world that way it maybe shuts them off so they can't see other people's side. So it's not just about how Douglas sees the world, it's about how he can't see any other way of seeing the world, maybe. You know, maybe, who knows? When you read it, you might not get that, you might get a completely different take of it, but that's how I take it. But yeah, yeah I'm very proud of it. It's I, I read it through uh, yesterday or the day before, in lockdown, they all merged together, though, but I read it through recently and I am genuinely really chuffed with it really proud of it i think it's a very complex fine fine piece of work just before i go um as you may we, we stuck up on facebook that there is a kindle um amazon let me do it up a kindle uh, storyteller competition going on on amazon and if you've got a piece of work which matches the criteria you can enter your book into it and we were going to do this last year but we we didn't we just missed it basically there were reasons and last year wasn't a cracking year and we just missed it and the intention at the minute is that deadlock will go into that storytelling competition as well um 
it'll still be self-published it'll still come out on the 16th of july but we'll be entering into that as well and if we do then i'll let you all know and let you all know what you can do to help us climb up the old uh, do well in that competition but yeah that that would be that would be it um that's deadlock out on the 16th of july i think i mentioned that um i'm sure there'll be more to come going forward and we'll be back on sunday with a new update about why the world went boom last sunday thanks for watching stay safe and everything let's